It's a special day every Sunday. I think people can get so churchified that they forget to love one another. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to my little Funhouse Day! It's Funhouse Church Day! Happy Funhouse Church Day! And welcome to the Fun House. Good morning. It's time for Fun House Church. And I'm ready for church. And I hope you are. I wanted people that uh, maybe they're in the hospital. Maybe they're in prison. Maybe they're in a rehab center. Maybe they're in a nursing home. If they can get on Facebook and they can feel like they can uh, attend a church. Because we don't uh, take up collection. We don't preach at anybody. We just try to show you some love. Because that's all that's about. Just show some love. Come visit the Fun House Church sit down, uh, get a cup of coffee, and get your Bible, or get some nice uh, piece of uh, inspirational material, read it. There's no space and time because prayers matter no matter when you pray them, and they come true no matter what, uh, because God always gives us what we need. But try to read a Bible verse today if you can, because I'm a Christian, and that's why I started the Funhouse Church on Sunday, because a lot of people don't uh, get to go to church. My favorite Bible verse, and the one that really um, compelled me to start the Funhouse Church, was where Jesus said uh, to the crowd, he said, Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. That's well, it. I'm sorry that you've had your heart broken during the holidays, honey, but you know what? Uh, what others mean for our harm, God means for our good. So if you can just remember that every time you feel lonesome or sad or heartbroken, just remember that God sometimes moves people out of our lives so he can move good stuff into our lives. And sometimes the things that we think we want are not the things we need at all. God has a higher purpose for us than we even know. And I don't mean to preach to you, but I know this from my own experience. So just keep the faith. And a year from now, you might be laughing about all this. And I hope that you are going to be with loved ones. And uh, I hope that if you're not with family, that you will be with people you love anyway. Because sometimes we are born into a family, and we're blessed with that. And then there are other times that we choose a family. And I believe that we're all in the same family because we're all human beings. In our world and in our society today, everybody is so concerned about being politically correct, but they don't have any problem at all jumping on your website or, I mean, on your Facebook page and just totally attacking you. So I don't know what the political correctness is. I think we just should try to respect one another, get along as best we can. We're all just babies, really. And, but in my mind, we're all God's babies, so let's give everybody a break if we can and just try to get on through this world as best we can and try to find some love in whatever we're dealing with. Uh, and I hope you get the message of what we're trying to do, which is to be lighthearted and positive and to share love, because really that's all that life's about, is trying to find a balance with our lives and to try to be as loving as possible. It's great to realize that things can be accomplished if you believe in, in your dreams. And so always keep your dreams alive and don't let those die and don't let anyone steal those from you. And believe in yourself and, and keep hope alive. Respect one, of, one another and respect your elders, which is an old bit of advice that I've heard my whole life that it really would be uh, beneficial to you as a young person to respect those in authority because the scripture says uh, obey those who have rule over you and that means your school teachers, your principals, anyone that's there to kind of protect and uh, take care of you and to teach you, you should try to have respect for them. I think that's the problem with a lot of what's going on today with social media. The younger uh, generation think they're smarter than the rest of us older folks because they know how to use a cell phone and the computer, but they don't have the wisdom to get across the street. I love you, and love each other, and have fun at Funhouse Church today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can do for you. How's that?